The final race of the week is the Zetland Stakes. I think this has been reintroduced this season, or introduced for the first time this season. Ten furlong race group three for two year olds. Pretty much as far as these two year olds can go. I'm sure they can go further, they're just not allowed to. Anyway, the top Minnesota Maverick for Paul Rhodes, Power Boost and Bang Bang for Graham Clutterbuck, Club Foley for Obi Wan, High Accord. Or highly accord for Stu Gray. Lady Lysette for Patrick Hogan. Patchy Corvette for Dan Hughes. I'm pretty sure he's the person who wanted this race brought back in. Topaz for Obi Wan. Well, they're all installed and ready to go. And away they go a little bit slow. Was well, Club Foley, but they sorted themselves out now. And it's Lady Lysette just about the leader. But now Club Foley's come through to take it up. So, how many times do we see that? The one that's slowest away immediately comes through to take the lead. So Club Foley then, and Topaz and Lady Lysette, then Patchy Corvette, that's the grey and the blue jacket. Bang Bang is over on the far side. Power Boost is also going quite well. Minnesota Maverick is the back marker, but it's Club Foley and Topaz spread across the track. They dispute the lead though from Lady Lysette in third. Harley Accord's got the rail in fourth, and Minnesota Maverick is after that one. Patchy Corvette, the grey, and finally Bang Bang. And they're coming down towards the final seven now, and it's Club Foley on the rail who's got the lead. And he's travelling well. The rest of them are virtually in a line. You wouldn't rule anything out of this yet. And you wouldn't really put you wouldn't have anything with any confidence either. But it's Club Foley in the lead from Bang Bang, Patchy Corvette, Highly Accord, and then Power Boost. Minnesota Maverick is next in Topaz, who's dropped back. Lady Lysette is now the back marker, but it's still Club Foley in front as they come past the five foot on pole, the midway point in the race. Power Boost is second. Patchy Corvette, the grey, is third. Then Minnesota Maverick running on. Bang Bang is next. Highly Accord on the inside, the back to a Topaz, and Lady Lysette, but Club Foley's been in the lead pretty much all the way. About to be joined, though, by Minnesota Maverick and Power Boost. Then Bang Bang and Highly Accord. Then Patchy Corvette's not got going yet. Lady Lysette's trying to run on Topaz is next three to go and it's Club Foley in front Club Foley still the leader by two and beginning to pull away again now Club Foley from Minnesota Maverick in second Power Boost is third Highly Accord four then Bang Bang and Patchy Corvette trying to run on Lady Lysette and Topaz not quite out of it yet they've got a furlong and a half to go and Club Foley's been in the lead all the way he's now starting to get tired and rocking around a little bit and has suddenly been swamped by Minnesota Maverick Highly Accord Bang Bang and Power Boost and it's Minnesota Maverick there in front Minnesota Maverick, but Harley Accord is fighting back on the inside. Bang, bang on the outside. Minnesota Maverick looks stronger. And Minnesota Maverick's going to take the zill. And Minnesota Maverick wins it. Harley Accord is second. And then Lady Lois hitting power boost and toe pass and bang, bang. And Club Foley might have been last in the end. And it's another winner from Paul Rhodes, I think, with Minnesota Maverick. It's just, just a group three this time, though. Harley Accord, a good second for Stu Gray. Let's take a look at the connections. Minnesota Maverick for Paul Rhodes takes it then. Harley Accord for Stu Gray, second. Lady, Lys Lady Lysette for Padre Hogan was third. Power Boost for Brown Crucible was fourth. And Topaz for Obi Wan was fifth. That's week 11 in the book then. Just two more weeks to go.